Well, good morning, everyone. All right, it's a very foggy morning. But the temperature isn't bad. It's only 55 degrees outside, but that feels good. I still have my hoodie on, but it feels good. And it wasn't that cold last night either. So I'm glad about that. Uh, the, I think it's supposed to go up to 67 today. And so far right now, the wind is calm. I'm not going to guarantee later because it always picks up around mid-morning. Today, though, I wanted to talk about some of the health issues that us senior citizens have. And I am starting this uh, on Mondays on YouTube, but I'm also going to put similar but not but maybe a little bit different on my blog. Uh, more information possibly. But anyway, to start off with, you know, as we get older, our bodies start breaking down. And I know that it doesn't matter how healthy we keep ourselves, it still breaks down. It's just a natural process. Uh, a lot of times with us senior citizens, one of the biggest, biggest issues, I think, personally, because I've seen it happen with my mother, is falls. It's so easy for a senior citizen to fall. You know, I was always one of those that loved to wear high heels, sometimes stilettos, you know. I wouldn't dare. I, I don't wear heels anymore, um, nor platform shoes, because of fear that my... I'm going to twist my ankle, I'm going to fall, I'm going to break my hip. One thing I've learned about breaking hips is that a lot of senior citizens that break their hips, that's a, right there you're flying around and you see that's a mosquito. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, you break your hip. And a lot of senior citizens, once they break their hip, something happens. They go into a depression. And as my mother, the first time she broke her hip, she was fine. She was 70 years old. She come out of it really great. The second time, she was 89. And she went into real deep depression. She gave up and she died. And that happens to a lot of senior citizens. Something about breaking a hip really brings them down mentally and, of course, physically. Another thing that happens to us as we get older is our eyesight and our hearing go. <laughs> and my eyesight has been going for quite some time. And whether I want to admit it or not, I have noticed that I have a little bit of problems with my hearing. Not a lot, but a little. But, I mean, I think I couldn't do without my hearing, but I, my eyesight, it, you know, your eyes are so important to see the beauty of life, to see our grandchildren, to see our children. Just, I can't imagine life without sight. Another thing that happens to us senior citizens as we get older is the cognitive decline. The ability to think, the ability to learn, and the ability to remember, which is... <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I'll be talking and all of a sudden I forget what I'm talking about now. I've always been like this. But I've noticed that as I get older, it's a little bit more different. You know, my mind goes from one thing to another. <laughs> Just all of a sudden I'm going, now what was I talking about? And yeah, this happened to me as I was younger too. I mean, <laughs> that's just me. Learning now, that's something that I continuously force myself to do is learn, learn, learn. I do a lot of research, but I have to write down a lot of things because if I don't, 
I may not remember it later. It's kind of like, whoops, goes away. Goodbye. So long. You know, and dementia and Alzheimer's is another thing that happens as we get older. And it doesn't happen to everybody. Thank goodness it doesn't happen to anybody. But everybody, I should say. But it does happen to more people than, you know, I care to think about. My family, I was very fortunate. I had no one with Alzheimer's in my family. Um, my mother was a little bit forgetful, but, you know, that's, that's natural. That comes natural with age. And mental illness is another thing that happens a lot to us. Uh, a lot of it is caused by depression um, and Alzheimer's as well, but it's some, I've seen some older people that are very calm people, and as they get older, it seems like they get very agitated, very, um, uh, seen violence in some that were never violent people, but that's something that the mind works, and I, I don't know how the mind works, but I know that it's, it has caused a lot, a lot of issues with a lot of people. Another thing that happens to a lot of senior citizens as we get older, we do not eat like we should. Uh, I've become quite a junk food lover, and although I do like junk food, mainly chocolate, um, a lot of older people just don't, they don't eat well. They... Uh, might make a sandwich. Uh, they might just eat cereal. And I know some of them that just eat cereal. That's it. They don't eat nutritional value foods in their system. And a lot of them will lose weight, get weak, muscles get weak. Uh, and then there are those that become very, uh, they eat too much. And they, since they are not active like they used to be, they start gaining weight, which is not good for them, which can cause diabetes, you know, um, heart problems. Uh, bladder, kidney problems, IBS, constipation. That happens to a lot of senior citizens. Personally, I have IBS, and I hate it. I hate it. There's two forms of IBS. One form, and I'm sorry, but I've got to say it, is diarrhea. The other one is constipation. I have the diarrhea. And that can be extremely embarrassing when your IBS is acting up, and it can be very painful as well. Um, it, it's, a, you know, <laughs> it's like, where's the bathroom? I have it right there next to me because I can't take another step. And that happens a lot with people with IBS, especially IBSD. A lot of senior citizens start drinking a lot of alcohol. I think it's part of the depression. I think it's part of why um, you just start thinking there's no value to me anymore and I'm alone and nobody cares and you start feeling sorry for yourself. So you drink yourself to make yourself feel better, which it doesn't, of course. Drugs is another problem that happens to a lot of senior citizens. And I contribute this a lot to the to uh, the doctors, because they're always giving them some kind of pill for something. I mean, doctors love to push pills. Here's a pill for this, and here's a pill for that, and this pill will help you do this and help you do that. And before you know it, you are addicted to drugs. And as a senior citizen, we listen to our doctors. Oh, Lord, we listen to them. I listen, but I don't 
I find out other alternative ways of taking care of the issue. But many, many seniors don't. And a lot of seniors end up with a lot of chronic health problems, you know, heart attacks, uh, stroke, cancer, diabetes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's so many things that we end up having as we get older. I mean, and, and you don't have to be real old for this to happen because I've, in the last four years, I've known at least almost two dozen people that I've known that are 55 and older but younger than me that have passed away due to cancer, heart problems, strokes, you know, it's so many different things. Diabetes, oh my goodness, I just had a friend of mine pass away because of diabetes, you know, caused from the diabetes. And so there's many, many different health issues that a senior citizen has. And we have to recognize this. We have to recognize what these things are within ourselves. And we have to take control because nobody else is going to control it for us. We have to take control. Look at those mosquitoes, and they're in here, guys. They're in here. They don't bite. They haven't bit. But they're in here. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I'll talk to you all later. Don't forget, hug to every one of you. Hug a person a day. And peace. <laughs>